everyone and welcome back to my channel. So what I wanted to do today for today's video is do a little February's favourites and just share with you guys some little bits and bobs that I've been loving this month. Um, one sec, I'm going to have a quick drink of water because I'm parched. Where were we? So yeah. So February's favourite. So we're going to start it off with this hand cream here. And please excuse my nails. They're all very chipped. Do not stare at them. Um, we'll just forget that they're even there. So this first one is a Body Shop hand cream. And it's the Peppermint Candy Cane Cream. And this smells absolutely insane like probably one of my favorite smells if they did this in a candle i would buy like 10 of them um so if anyone knows of a candle that actually smells like this then please let me know the wind but um yeah so my friend kaylee got me this for i believe it was christmas um just gone and i'm absolutely in love with it martin's even started to use it so i've had to restrict him and give him another one because once it's gone it's gone and i want to keep it off myself so that's the first thing that I've been loving. The second thing, what should we move on to, is these sheet masks here. So this is an avocado one, and this is just from Home Bargains. Um, Home Bargains sheet masks are my absolute favourite because they're so cheap and they're always so quirky. Obviously this one's an avocado, um, but they do watermelon ones, they do ones with animal prints on um, that make you look kind of crazy. And I'm just a sucker for a sheet mask. And I think I was watching a clip on YouTube the other day um, where I just need a moment. I was watching a clip on YouTube the other day where skincare expert Caroline Hirons, I believe she's called, um, advised to ditch the sheet masks, and I was absolutely devastated. She didn't say why to ditch them. Obviously, I'm just guessing that they're not that good for you, but I really prefer a sheet mask to um, a peel off one or one you know that you've got to wash off i just think they're quick they're simple you could do them when you're traveling in the car on a plane if you're my pajama and yeah so i've been loving these and they're only 69 pence so you can't really go wrong and my next favorite is a perfume and it's this one here which is the nina ritchie perfume and it's just the nina one and this is my all-time favorite perfume ever 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 I always go back to it and Martin got me this for my birthday and he always sort of restocks me when I feel when it runs out um when it comes to an occasion I mean he does just like buy me it willy-nilly but um I can always count on him to uh supply me with this and it's just insane and it's just if you've never smelled it before oh it's just this gorgeous floral fruity smell and I absolutely love it. And I don't mind the perfumes. Like other perfumes do smell nice. But I always, for some reason, just go back to this one. Um, it's kind of like my staple one. And one that I've been using for, for years. And I think we've all got one like that. So let me know what your staple perfume is. Because I do like trying other perfumes out. Like I said, I always go back to it. So moving on. My next favourite item for February is this bag here. If you can see. And it's just a little bag pack. And this is just from Primark, and I believe it was about £10, maybe £12. Um, I'm not too sure. But it was in that in that area. It was one or the other. I think the window just slammed shut. Um, yeah, and I'm not really a backpack sort of person. Um, I usually just have, you know, like a bag that you just put on your shoulder. Um, but the strap on my trusty mustard bag snapped when I was pretending to swing it at my own. Um, so that kind of teaches me not to hit my boyfriend even though we were joking around. Um, so I went into Primark in Aberdeen and I was looking for a bag and nothing really stood out. Um, so, and then I came across this one and I thought I have wanted to try a backpack style one. Um, I do like the River Island ones but they are a bit too expensive especially if it's sort of you're testing one out to see how you like it, how you feel. I mean the only thing that stopped me getting them in the past is that I just find it a pain to always like have to take it off your shoulders, open it, put things in, put it back on and keep doing that. I mean I know that's just probably really lazy of me but what can I say. My next favourite item is a simple item um, and it is this. Hot chocolate Cadbury's in particular. I've been absolutely loving hot chocolate since 
since before Christmas, since the start of winter. Um, it's an unhealthy obsession because I believe I've probably gained about a stone because of, well, eating crap, but also drinking all of this. I must have like two glasses a day, which may not seem that much, but every single day, it, I think it's becoming a bit of a problem. Um, I begged Martin to not buy anymore when he does the food shop and he came home with that massive jar because it was an offer or something like that. So I don't blame him, I'm quite grateful for it, um, but my waistline is not thankful. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't drink hot, dr hot drinks anymore. Um, I cut down on coffee um, just because it, I wanted to sort of reduce my anxiety and caffeine just wasn't helping. I don't really drink cups of tea, um, so hot chocolate is kind of the next hot drink and I'm loving it. So yeah, who doesn't love hot chocolate? <laughs> so my next favourite item for February is this palette here. I'll open it up here. This is the NYX Ultimate Brights palette and it's just this here. And if you, um, if you follow me on Instagram or if you follow my blog, um, carolandavies.com, then you'll know that I've been using this to create a couple of looks recently, um, just sort of playing around with it, um, messing on and creating a couple of little bits and bobs, nothing too impressive. But I've used it today for this sort of look. Um, yeah, and I'm not usually a, a bright eyeshadow sort of gal. I usually go for a, a brown, boring, nude, smoky eye. Um, but I've been loving just playing around with this and I do find a lot of inspiration on Instagram um, so I'm just like why not try it sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but like I said I enjoy messing around with it so so yeah um, I've had this for quite a long time actually so I'm not too sure I mean I, I guess they probably do still sell it have I seen it around I'm not too sure but I think this was around like 16 pound um, I've had it for like a year and a half if you watch my old videos from when i started youtube i did buy this so but I, I assume you can still buy it and the pigmentation in it is brilliant um there's a, a lot of range of colors in it which a fab to create looks with um yeah and it's the only bright eyeshadow palette that i own i mean i would love to get more but you girls broke as i've probably said before um but yeah that's what i'm looking at the moment in sort of terms of makeup so the next item um, isn't physical, I can't show you it, but it is a television show and it is Parks and Recreation if you have watched it, which I'm sure you're familiar with. Um, but Now TV have it on their, their box, which I've found out while, while browsing. And I binge watched all seven series in about a week because, I mean, I've watched it before in the past, but it was a couple of years ago. Um, and it is just hilarious. It takes, I think it takes a while to get into to, till you start to like laugh and stuff, but it's so funny. I really recommend if you want to watch something really lighthearted. Um, the episodes are like 20 minutes long, so if like you just want something to shut on while you do your makeup or you want something on in the background while you're working or you just want, you just want a good laugh, then I wholeheartedly recommend watching that because it's just amazing. And I'm really gutted that I've watched it all so soon because I want to watch it again but I feel like I might be a bit bored if I watch it again um so soon but I probably will in the future unless now TV take it off which I probably don't so I would definitely recommend watching Parks and Recreation and the last item for February that I wanted to share with you guys um is this and I don't know if I'll be able to show it all in in the frame let me get I think so this here this is the hood um, and it's this big here. So this is one of those blanket hoodies that you might have seen on Instagram um, or on Facebook, like advertised. Um, because I think I saw them, before I got it, I think I saw a couple around. But Martin actually got me this as one of my Christmas presents and I think it is like one of my favourite presents that he's ever got me. I'm literally stuck in that 24-7. First thing in the morning, I put it on. When I'm cold throughout the day, I just shut it on. Like, I'm not even bothered. I would happily... Yeah, I would happily go to the shops in it, to be honest, put a pair of leggings on underneath it. I might get a couple of funny looks, but I'm really not bothered because it's so comfy. And it's just one of the best things I've ever owned. Because we don't really have blankets um, in the house or back at home. 
Like, I've got one in my car, but that just sort of stays in my car. Like, or if we've got, like, the dog in the car or something. Um, so when you get cold, you're just kind of like, what can I do? I, I don't have a dressing gown, so that is just, like, the perfect gift. Um, and I absolutely love it. It's the coziest thing, and I recommend that you get one, because they're just the best. Um, and that's about it, I think, for things that I've been loving in February. Um, it's not very long, but I wasn't going to, like, sit here and bore you with million things because they're actually not that many things that I've been loving, enjoying. Not that I just sit there in a mood all day, but sometimes, sometimes I do. Um, yeah, so please let me know what your favourites are this month um, and what you've been loving. Um, if any of yours are similar to mine, if you've got um, hot chocolates down there that you've been loving, let me know because I probably will want more. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.